Thank you for coming to KSHB.com and checking out the weather blog. Well, we've had another foggy start. Here we are on Saturday morning looking at from the downtown airport. Can't see the buildings. And then as we go to other parts of the city, look at out at the legends. Really low visibility. But then there's some areas that have great visibility. I'll show you that here right now. And there's a pocket here on Saturday morning of this fog where there's a quarter to an eighth of a mile to one to two miles, but three miles in parts of Kansas City to three miles in St. Joseph, two miles in Topeka, but nine miles over there in Clinton. This area of fog and low clouds will end up going a little bit further to, will end up burning off by the noon hour and kind of lifting off to the north. The good news is we're above freezing. Now, Topeka was below freezing briefly. There may be a few slick spots out there, but otherwise, all above freezing. So no black ice, just damp to wet roads. And speaking of temperatures across the United States, no Arctic air are found. 41 here, nearly 50 right now in Cleveland and Chicago. Cleveland's around 50, so is Chicago on a Saturday morning in January. Pretty incredible, but there's Arctic air lurking, 44 below zero in the Yukon of Canada. That Arctic air is gonna sit up there for a while, but as we get into February, the middle two weeks of February, that's when we're expecting it to come down based on the LRC. So what is going on? And I do want to pause this here for a second. Let's, I'm going to check this on. I'm going to change the satellite here. The sector, I want to show you a couple other things here on the satellite. A couple of things here. First, kind of an active weather pattern. We had a little storm system go through on Friday that brought a little bit of light rain and clouds. And there's a trailing area of these low clouds and fog. And a much bigger storm in the southwest United States delayed Barack Obama's arrival in Palm Springs with the rain. The good news out there is they're getting rid of the drought. The bad news is it's coming so quickly that they're getting landslides and flooding. Also, another problem, a lead disturbance came out. And unfortunately, severe weather in the south appears three, possibly four people dead in Mississippi. Uh, mostly in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, from this line of thunderstorms that did have a couple tornadoes in it. So unfortunate there. For us, we don't have to deal with that. It's just this pocket of clouds, low clouds and fog, but you can already see as I'm recording this in the morning that it's eroding from south to west. And so the sun will be out by noon. It's actually going to turn out to be a fairly nice afternoon. Powercast shows as well by noon, it's mostly gone. Temperatures are in the 40s. Now, we're tracking a storm system that one in the southwest United States is coming out tonight, and it should give us some rain, but the main part of the storm is going to the south. We're going to look for a northern extension of this. So if you have any afternoon plans, it looks great. Then this evening, it starts to cloud up. Temperatures are above freezing. And then at 7 p.m., a lot of clouds around. There's a chance for a little bit of light rain by then. Between about 7 p.m. and 10 or 11 o'clock at night, We'll start to get some light rain showers. You see the main area is well to the south, but for us, we're on the northern edge with a few light rain showers. Temperatures are in the 40s. That's the other thing. The storm tracking to our south, we're on the northern edge. It's January at night. Most of the time, you have snow on the northern edge, but not when temperatures in the 40s. So mild that we're just getting a little bit of rain. And then tomorrow morning, the main comment goes to the south. We still could have some lingering light rain showers, but really tomorrow is just going to be mostly cloudy, windy, colder, temperatures in the 30s and 40s, but we'll just be kind of stuck in the clouds. But again, a little bit of light rain later on this afternoon and evening. How much rain are we expecting? Well, the main storm going well to the south. This is the new data. You can see I-44 could see one to two inches of rain. For us here, well, it's tricky. Maybe just a few drops of rain up in northern Missouri, a few hundredths of an inch of rain here in Kansas City. And earlier, we were looking at data of one to two inches of rain from Pleasanton to Clinton. Now it's down to a quarter and a half. It really depends on how far north this tracks. We've had data that said it was going to be way south. Then it came further north. And now it's back trending to the south again. So we'll just have to see when you're on the edge. It makes it a difficult forecast. So I would expect some rain tonight trace to a quarter of an inch probably here in the city, quarter to a half inch south, maybe an inch, and just a few drops further north. But again, that north-south line will continue to have to be monitored as we get closer to it. So today, the fog this morning, a nice afternoon into the low 50s, partly cloudy, then a 20% chance of light rain by 6 p.m., 60% by 8 p.m., and by 10 p.m., again, a better, a little bit better chance of rain, but temperatures in the 40s, so no chance of icing. And then tomorrow, 
we're looking at a low of 38 and a high of 41 at morning rain shower activity. 45 Monday should get close to 60 on Tuesday briefly and then turning colder for the middle and end of the week, but seasonal cold, not Arctic cold. Have a great Saturday and weekend and stay safe.